Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to a very late Wild World session. Where we left off, we didn't really do a whole lot today, but that's okay. Because we're here for KK Slider. I got really busy. Because, you know, Easter, family, all, all that stuff. I know Easter's tomorrow, but there was some stuff to do early, so... A lot of work, but... Hey. We're here. And we... I'm gonna go get some stuff done with KK Slider. I got a song in mind, so we're gonna go get a song. Did anyone join? I thought for a second someone moved in, but no. I'm just so sleep deprived, man. But either way, you still here? You know it. Ooh, yeah. So the song that I want to hear is another secret song, a request only. Called Steep Hill. Alright, let's get the song. This is far out, get ready to groove to Steep Hill. That was really good. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that. That was also a song I've never heard before, so... Wow. I liked it. I don't know how good the... The... You know... The recording will be, compared to the live, but... That might be one of my favorite live performances, aside from, you know, KK Western being surprisingly raw. <laughs> like, I'm not really that big into the Wild West. 
but that was definitely up there as one of my favorite songs. We got a why do we have a white pansy behind the house? That's weird. Alright, let's get the song. You know what? I dig this a lot. This might be up there as one of my favorite songs. I mean it. Or at the very least, it's my favorite new one in Wild World. That is just a straight banger, not gonna lie, dude. Okay, well, even though I've sleep deprived and Lexi is very tired, I want to at least... I don't know get 10 minutes into this thing. I don't know, dude. I might just do 10 minutes. <laughs> well, 15. But that's as high as I want to go. Because I'm tired. I want to go to bed. <laughs> I had a lot to do. Visiting my grandparents and all that. For a family reunion. So, yeah, this is gonna be short, but you can understand. I got I got here pretty late because I had a lot of stuff to do, and I know that some people have complained about me explaining things a lot, but that's mainly due to how I've been a victim of like you know one-sided like drama where no one bothered listening to me by my reasoning, you know? And that always hurt. Like, no matter how hard I've tried to reason and stuff, people just didn't care. They just wanted to believe I was wrong and they were right. Even if I had proof, you know? And that's just not right. You should always listen to both sides of the story before you make a decision. Otherwise, you're just being unreasonable and, frankly, immature. It's not justified. Not in the slightest. And you're clearly being childish and have zero understanding of how the law works. I'm just saying, no? But yeah, that's why I tend to over explain things sometimes. It's just, you know, related to a bit of trauma, I guess. I don't want to like make that an excuse though. Just something for people to understand why I behave certain ways, you know? Because I'm definitely not a nor like a typical person. Like, I got ADHD, I'm on the spectrum, all that stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff that I've gone through, and a lot of it I can't really explain, but maybe one day. Maybe one day, but 
that remains to be seen. So yeah, now you guys know a bit more about my life. <laughs> and the importance of, you know, being reasonable, <laughs> you know? Because no one wants to go through an unfair situation. Doesn't matter who you are, you do not want to be experiencing any sort of bias. You feel me? Just because you trust and care about a certain person doesn't mean you know everything. There might still be some twisted things about them that you don't know. And it's something to make sure you double check before you come up to any conclusion. Because there have been plenty of people out there in the world who we thought were these amazing, noble people. But in the end, they've done really terrible things. Stuff that YouTube does not appreciate, so I can't really say what. But you get the gist of it. People can be, you know, they can just be a lot worse than you can understand. They can be manipulative, they can be abusive both verb verbally and physically. Things like that that just makes them completely disgusting. And obviously it depends on how bad it is, but... Either I would just want them to get help, or I think they are completely irredeemable. But the thing is, you can't really force someone to get help, you know? They need to want it too. And if they don't want it, there's nothing you can do about that. And that sucks. It really sucks that... No matter how much you want someone to get better, it might not happen because they need to want it too. And that is just unfortunate. But yeah, no matter what, you deserve a chance. You deserve a chance to defend yourself. Because that's just how it is in human nature. We are more than just one-dimensional people. We There isn't just good and bad people. There is gray. Like, there are morally gray people. There are people who may not always do the right thing, but they do it for the right reasons. And I know quite a few people that do. But I know quite a lot of people that tend to be ignorant to that kind of thing. And they are people that shall not be named. Then I've tried so hard to reason with a man. But no matter what, it's always twisted to make me look like a bad person. I just don't understand that. We clear- like, I clearly- they know I just want them to be okay. And even when it's straight up told to you, when you are dealing with a person that has never wronged you in any sort of way, has always been trying to look out after you, you still look down on them. And I don't understand that, and never will. But yeah, I just want things to be okay, because I love everyone around me. I love, I love my family, I love my friends, and my fans especially. Like, you guys are amazing, and you 
Like, even though it is a reason for me to do this, I would have still done this anyway, even if nobody was watching, you know? Like, it doesn't matter to me if I get no views on the video. I still want to keep doing it because I like doing it, you know? Because it makes me happy. And it's a good way for me to cope through all the terrible things that I've had to deal with as of late. It helps me feel better about myself, you know? And I swear to god, if I did not have Lexi, things would definitely be a lot harder on me, you know? Like, it's crazy how one cat is able to damn near single-handedly kill depression. And I wouldn't trade it for anything. Like, I, I never really experienced living with a cat like that before. Like... This never really had much experience compared to dogs. Like, for nearly my whole life, we've had dogs. Like, quite literally, nearly my entire life. But, yeah. Again, I apologize for, you know, over-explaining things a lot. I understand it can be a little annoying and probably tedious to some of you, but I just think it's good for you guys to understand, you know? And there is a difference between understanding and agreeing with someone. Hey, Buck. You wanna break this sad tune? <laughs> mm. Yeah, I get that you wouldn't want Bafo anymore. Oh, I know the perfect one. You can call us Bucko. That's a good one. Hey you, bucko! I love that. Buck, has, Buck and Bones have quickly become my favorite villagers. Buck has literally saved me from really awful bugs to hunt. And Bones is just so funny. Oh yeah, I never really talked to Rash or did I? No, I'm sorry. Look, I could put up the I could put up the pansy. Look, I'll I'll go in the house. That should make you feel better and you can give me something cool. Hey bones. <laughs> Aww. But you're a great friend, Bones. <laughs> like, seriously. You're like my best friend on Ironic Rasher. Stop being depressed. I want something cool. Aww. Poor Rasher. He doesn't deserve that. Well, uh... Awkward. I don't really know what else to do here, so... I think... Oh. Pierce. What's up? Oh, really? I agree. I gotta work on my games, though. I'm just saying. Alright, well, I think I'm done here. 
I apologize for venting and ranting and whatnot, but I can't help it. Sometimes I just want to get real with you guys around this time, you know? Anyway, next time on Wild World, we will be back tomorrow. And, well, depending on when this uploads, it'll either be tomorrow or <laughs> tonight. Depends how tired I am, but we'll see. And we'll be preparing for Joan and whatnot. So yeah, I'll see you guys then.